It, it gives the community a chance to communicate with the superintendent. In other words, he's not just a, a name at central office that people can't say, well, we you know, don't know who he is. We don't even know what he looks like. And in essence, that's the opportunity it gives. It gives uh, uh, an opportunity for two-way communication. For those students who do more, like the ROTC, especially here, is very active in the community. It brings together, it brings together, it aligns the students, the teachers, and the parents. So it actually brings the community together so that we're all in it for one reason, and that's for the kids' future. I think it's wonderful. I think it puts them out there so we're able to ask them questions people who do have concerns. I think we have a great district um, compared to some of the other uh, ones that I hear about. I think we're, ours is, is an elite group and I'm very glad to have my daughter in, in this district and my son too. Uh, the community coffees have been great. We have a lot of parents come out. We have some of the children perform. We also cover a lot of the new things that are happening uh, with instruction uh, across the state and which will affect their children and then at the end we have a question and answer session so it's been very helpful to parents. Well mainly because uh, support is the most important thing but I also think that uh, letting the school know that we back our children, support our children, I think that's also important also and let our kids know that we're behind them also. My daughter is uh, playing in the band tonight, so we're here to support her. We're all in it for the kids, whether we're parents or employees, so we should all look for the kids' future and make sure that they prosper. We can do These community coffees are an extension of the superintendent reaching out to the community, and it's also an opportunity for the community to reach back. <laughs> <laughs>